Hey, hey, welcome back to another 3D modeling adventure with me, Erica, from Crafty Geek Enterprises. Today, I'm modeling an hourglass. It's a really simple construction, and you end up with something really neat in the end. So let's get started. I start with two hemispheres of equal sizes and a cylinder. I use the Align tool to center them all, and then I can move them into position, creating the basic hourglass shape. Then I combine all these objects into one, and this allows me to use the Fillet tool. By filleting the edge where the cylinder meets the hemispheres, this allows me to create that beautiful hourglass shape that I'm looking for. Once I'm happy with this, it's time to get started on the stand. I insert a cylinder that's really short and really wide, basically a disc. And when it's the size that I like, I copy and paste it to the bottom of my design. I then use the fillet tool on the edges to round those off. Next, it's time to create the finials those decorative rods that you see surrounding an hourglass. To do this, I create a rectangle sketch on the gridded work surface. Rotate it 90 degrees and move it into position so that I can better see what I'm sketching. Then, using the polyline and spline tools, I create half of a finial design. I then use the rotate tool and rotate this sketch 360 degrees, creating a custom 3D object. Now when I did this, the rotate function actually connected my sketch to the bottom disc. And I didn't want this because I couldn't separate them. And I really need that finial to be a separate piece so I can copy and paste just that piece. So, I undid the rotate function and pulled that rectangle back away from the 3D model. I then rotated that design again 360 degrees, and that gave me a separate finial piece, which I then copied and pasted two more times, so I had a total of three identical finials. I then moved those into position and realized that those bases were still too small. So I scaled them up and snapped them back into position. After a little tweaking, I was finally happy with my hourglass. I then used the Smart Scale tool to do some final adjustments. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
If you did, please like, subscribe, and share it with some friends. Have a great week. I'll see you next time. And thanks for watching.